It is possible that you might have to solve a cubic equation. To do that, follow these steps. Now consider the equation ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d equals zero. All rational solutions of this equation are going to be of the form plus or minus p over q, where p are all the factors of d and q are all the factors of a. If r is a root of the polynomial on this left-hand side of the equation, then that means that x minus r has to be a factor of this polynomial. So knowing a root, we have a factor, and then using synthetic division, we can divide out that factor and find the remaining factor. We can then solve that remaining factor. Now this sounds like a lot of theory, but here's really what we're doing here. Let's solve x cubed minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0. Now, we can use the rational roots theorem to determine all possible rational roots of this equation. And to do that, we use all of the factors of 6. Those are 1, 2, 3, and 6 and all over all factors of 1, which are 1. So our rational roots are plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2 over 1, plus or minus 3 over 1, and plus or minus 6 over 1. Now in order to test these roots, we can use synthetic division. So we're going to put our root over here in this box. We'll look at the coefficients of our cubic. Here we have 1, negative 2, negative 5, and positive 6. And after this, we'll see what the remainder is. If the remainder is 0, then that means that it is a rational root. If the remainder is not 0, it's not a root. So, in red, let's try to put in 1 first. Let's see if 1 is a root. Well, we drop down our first coefficient and we multiply. 1 times 1 gives us 1. Negative 2 times, uh, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Negative 5 plus negative 1 is negative 6. 1 times negative 1 is negative 6. And 6 plus negative 6 is 0. Because the remainder is zero, we got a hole in one in the first shot. One is, in fact, a root of this polynomial on the left-hand side. Furthermore, if one is a root, then that means that x minus one is a factor of that polynomial. But more than that, we just did synthetic division, which means that we actually just divided our polynomial by x minus 1 and it gave us 1x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. So this is a lot of information that we got just from knowing that 1 is a root. We found 1 as a root by the rational roots theorem but then because the remainder is zero when we divided our polynomial by x minus one, that means that x minus one has to be a factor. And moreover, this is the other factor right here. And of course, we can now factor this other factor. That factor is as here we have x minus one times two numbers that multiply to negative six and add to negative one are negative three and positive two. And so, x is equal to, here we have negative 2, here we have positive 1, and here we have positive 3. And those are all three solutions of x. This is where this polynomial crosses the x-axis. So, the rational roots theorem and division are extremely powerful in finding solutions of cubics.